It was siblings weekend here in Athens for Saturday night's game, and the Ohio men's basketball team wanted to send the Ohio faithful home happy with a victory. To do so, they'd have to go through a team whose head coach is at the helm of the Ohio Bobcats team when they made their magical Sweet 16 run back in 2012. How's it going, Bobcat fans? I'm Ohio sports reporter Joey Medor, and to get the victory on Saturday night, the Bobcats had to go through the top-ranked defense of the Akron Zips. It wasn't just siblings weekend being celebrated at the Convo as they celebrated their 50th season by welcoming back the team who played for the Ohio Bobcats in the inaugural season at the Convo back in 1968. Packed student section to celebrate the occasion as the Bobcats went for their fourth conference win against former Ohio head coach John Gross. Now, just under 12 minutes ago in the first half, Bobcats down nine, looking for a spark offensively. Jason Carter, he's going to provide it. Gets a dish from Doug Taylor, drives in and kisses it off the glass for two. This would be two of Carter's team leading 18 on the night. Now, a few minutes later, Bobcats working around. TK, Tevion Kirk, finds Carter again, two-handed flush, and that cut the lead down to 10 at that point. Bobcats trying to make a run. Now, Gavin Block says Carter can't do it all on his own. Little ball fake. Splash. First three on the night for him. And again, Block, a couple minutes later on the break, gets it from Cowart. Up and splash. Second three on the night, and that cut the lead down to three at that point. And you can see the student section was going wild for that one. Just under a minute to go. Block thinking about it again. Dishes it off to Kirk. He hits a little floater. Bobcats only down eight at the half to Spike, only shooting 33%. Akron caught some fire in the second half. Jim and Ivy in the corner. Book it. A few minutes later on the break, Dan Uitomi pulling up at the top of the key with the hand in his face. No problem there. Here, the jump hook is missed. Tapped out for the board. Utomi again from the top of the key, stretching out the Zips lead. Ivy ain't done yet either. Money feeling himself a bit. He had a game-high 21 points and led the Zips offense. Now, Ohio struggled to keep up in the second half and get the lid off the basket. Overall for the game, they finished just 37.7% from the field, 23.8% from three, and 50% from the line. Here's what Coach Saul Phillips had to say about the team's woes offensively as of late. Uh, I thought we were more tentative tonight offensively. I thought we had some guys passing up some good shots at times. And it's a as you're growing as a team, sometimes you get into those ruts where uh, you're having a hard time trying to figure out where to insert yourself and when to insert yourself. The Bobcats will hit the road for their next contest as they take on Miami. For WUB Sports, I'm Joey Medor.